Welcome to Griffith University's Research Training Line. I'm Sharon Stapleton, a Library Research Specialist. Let's hop on board and begin our journey. Researcher training is developed and delivered by a variety of providers across Griffith University, and it's organised and managed through the Researcher Education and Development, or RED, program. The Research Skills Development Journey and the various learning options available at Griffith University were not easily identifiable to researchers, high degree research candidates or their supervisors. Whilst a calendar and regular newsletters promoted upcoming workshops, there was no single portal that provided a comprehensive catalogue of researcher training or supporting resources available. Several skills development providers, including eResearch, Research Methods Advisors, the Office for Research and the Library work together. We categorised training via themes and project stages and then developed training lines for each theme. Using Draw.io open source tool and SharePoint pages and lists, library staff and the Red Team created a one-stop shop of training resources, which include videos of previous workshops, online self-paced tutorials, presentation slides and other supporting resources. Let's have a look at the researcher training lines live. We use the London Tube Map and as inspiration and a framework for a researcher's skill development journey. There are currently 12 lines, each with stations and intersections, and the different lines correspond to research processes, tasks or methods. You can see each of those there. Using the literature review line as an example, we can see that each station represents a workshop and there are also interchanges for where workshops belong to multiple lines and this enables a learner to identify other training lines to explore. A line may branch out into a number of sublines and in this case the line branches to a systematic style literature review and the training that is available there. So the order of the workshops in these lines either represent foundational to advanced skills or prerequisite requirements to next steps such as learning about research design and analysis methods prior to deciding on data collection methods. We can then select training of interest from these links on the right hand side. So if we have a look at the EndNote Q&A, we can then see what the workshop is about, register for upcoming workshops, and access self-paced tutorials or watch previous recordings. We can also explore the topic further via links to other training options or contacting the training provider for help via a consultation. Going back to the training lines again, let's have a look at the research data line. The research data line is a good example of skills development opportunities from many different providers. And it also has a number of interconnecting lines for learners to consider exploring. There have been several benefits to developing the researcher training lines. We now have easy identification of available training. It enables strategic decision making for skills development, enables customization for each researcher's unique journey. We've had very positive engagement after promoting the tool in staff news, via newsletters and at the end of workshops, with schools inviting the library to present at research development days and a number of other training providers within the university have hopped on board and requested lines. We also acknowledge there are limitations. So this is not exhaustive, but it focuses on specific skills for research training and the diagrams will need updating. It's been a terrific opportunity to collaborate with other research training providers across the university. It's enabled the discovery of skills development gaps and opportunities to align training and work together on developing new training. Training providers also now have a better understanding of each team's services and can refer researchers to the most appropriate provider. Thank you for your interest in Griffith University's training lines.